Welcome to causing. Causing means causal interpretation using graphs. And I'd like to give you a short introduction. Causing is a multivariate graphical analysis tool helping you to interpret the causal effects of a given equation system. So let's suppose you have a bunch of data and a model describing the dependencies between the variables. Then you can put in these data into causing. As an output, you will get a nice colored graph showing you how to interpret the causal dependencies between the variables. In addition, you also might estimate these effects in order to validate if the data fits to your model. Causing is making use of methods from AI, artificial intelligence. However, it's a bit different. Using causing, a causal model needs to be given by you. It's done in form of a directed acyclic graph. You are also enabled to analyze latent variables, that is, variables that are not observed. <clears throat> the identification of the effects is done by rich regression, which is a method of regularization. Then we are estimating a regression model. Indeed, it is a structural model, that is, a neural network model with some neurons restricted to zero, enabling interpretation. You may use causing with only small data. It's not a big data requirement. And what's most important, causing is explainable AI. It is not a black box. After given the result, you are totally able to interpret the effects. It's written, a software written in Python, and we are making using of PyTorch. First, we are using Autograd in order to estimate the effects, which are the derivatives of the model. Then we build our own class for a structural neural network model. That is, we are masking some neurons to be zero in order to be able to interpret them. And finally, we are new, uh, using PyTorch optimization algorithms like Adam and Rproc. We also use SymPy and finally ReportLab in order to present all the results in a PDF file. So let's have a real data example. We would like to analyze the wages of young American workers. I already got the data <coughs> and I set up a model. For example, here I specified how education depends on the father education, the mother education, the number of siblings and the broken home. Second, the potential experience depends on the age and the duration of education. And finally, the wage, that's the variable we are interested in, depends on education, potential experience and the ability. So once you've put this in, you will get a nice graph as an output. This is an example for just one worker being aged 25. We find that his hourly wage is 16 cents above the average of all young workers in the US. Why is this so? <clears throat> First, his father has a higher education, which is giving a positive influence to his own education. However, he is still quite young. So being in school for a long time and being quite young means his potential real working experience is not so high, it's quite low, having a negative effect on the wage. However, he has a very good education and a high ability measured by school testing scores. So in total, he has an, an above average hourly weight. And as you can see, it's very easy to interpret what's going on just within a minute. Causing is a free software. It's under the MIT license. 
And if you have some questions, don't hesitate to contact me. So have fun. Goodbye.